New at six, Iowa lawmakers have officially wrapped up their first funnel week. Bills had to pass through at least one full committee in either the House and Senate in order to have a chance to still become law this year. Chief political reporter Amanda Rooker is in studio tonight with a look at which bills survived. Lara Jody, lawmakers advanced several of Governor Kim Reynolds' top priorities, especially when it comes to health care. Reynolds' bill to make birth control available at a pharmacy without a prescription advanced through committee. So did her bill to expand Medicaid postpartum coverage from 60 days to a year. That bill does also limit who's eligible for Medicaid. House and Senate committees also passed Reynolds' plan to reorganize the state's mental health system. Lawmakers also introduced dozens of education bills this year. One that survived the funnel this week includes a bill that would require specific social studies curriculum and lessons for every grade level in the state. Another bill still alive would require schools to educate parents and students about the dangers of social media. But a bill that would have required all students to sing the national anthem every day in school is dead for the session. And another proposal that didn't advance would have made city council and school board elections partisan. I sat down with leaders in the House and Senate from both parties to talk about their focus now that funnel week is over. We're still sorting through it. There's still, you know, uh, the builds that came through we're working on. It's going to be a little bit slower year than we've had maybe the last six or seven years. And that's just because I was in a great spot. And so much of what we've done at the, we've done at the Capitol so far feels a lot like politics. So I'm hoping that we can sort of put that first six weeks behind and start working together on ways that we can affect, do things that really make a difference for Iowa families. And of course, even if a bill survived final week, it still has a long way to go. It has to pass both the House and the Senate and get a signature from the governor in order to become law. And I heard several different lawmakers say in committee this week that they advance bills because they want to continue conversation on them, but they do expect to make many more changes to those proposals in the coming weeks. Lara. Amanda, thank you. Well, several other bills are also moving forward at the State House. Other bills that have advanced through committee and are waiting for a full House or Senate vote include the governor's AEA funding bill, another bill that requires Iowans to use state facilities that match their sex at birth. Also, a bill that increases penalties for falsely reporting a school shooting and a bill that allows schools to arm school staff members.